This month's TV 47 Star Student of the Month from Talladega County Central High School. Good morning to Devin Jacoby Calhoun. Devin, good morning to you, sir. Thank you for being with us this morning. And uh, also, uh, we welcome Sharon Pittman, who's a teacher at TC Central. Sharon, always a pleasure to see you, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, Devin, tell us a little bit about yourself this morning. Kind of turn your mic up a little bit, and let's go with it, okay? Uh, I play sports at TCCHS. I love to play basketball and football and baseball. Mm -hmm. My favorite um, subject at TC is English. And... Uh, I like to help out around the house, do mm -hmm. a lot of stuff. Speaking of helping out around the house, talk about your family a little bit. Uh, I have a wonderful dad and a wonderful mom and a great grand, great, great, great grandparents. And mm -hmm. um, I have a bunch of people that support me in my life. You know, that's uh, very, very important to uh, mm -hmm. uh, a young 13-year-old who's uh, uh, in the eighth grade. And, uh, Devin, I know your family is important to you, your parents and your grandparents and other uh, siblings and, and uh, surrounding support system. What about at TC Central? Uh, talk about the school and uh, your eighth grade year and what's so special about TC? Uh, TC has been going since I think 1920 something and that makes it special and we have principal, a great principal and uh, assistant principal and they have remodeled the school a lot and they made it better how it looks and the campus has changed and we have, have upgraded a lot and mm -hmm. did better. Uh, being an eighth grader and uh, 13 years old, you got a lot of stuff going on, including uh, your social and athletic uh, events. But let's talk about academics this morning. You you mentioned your favorite subject is English. Yes, sir. Uh, why English? Uh, because my Michelle Pittman, she's she you better out. say it right. <laughs> <laughs> she she helps me out when I do the wrong thing or if I mess up and mm -hmm. I can retake tests and she's funny. We do a lot of stuff in her class and it's fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ms. Pittman, you, you know uh, Devin quite well. What are some of the uh, special traits about this young man? Oh, there's so many. Uh, Devin is the ideal student. He comes in on time. He's always prepared with his supplies. He comes in and he immediately gets engaged in whatever the lesson is. He asks questions as needed. Uh, his hand is always raised whenever I'm asking questions. He didn't mention it, but he's been newly inducted into the National Junior Beta Society. Wow. And I mean, he's just really, you know, he's one of those kids, if you have three or four kids like that, you could almost work for a reduced salary. Mm. He's he's wonderful to have there. Uh, now, how long have you been teaching school? This would be my 16th year. Okay. Uh, all at TC? No, the last four at TC. Okay. okay. Now, uh, occasionally, you know, you'll have someone in a class uh, uh, like Devin. And, mm -hmm. and Devin, I know that you want to live up to those uh, high standards uh, that your family and your teachers and uh, educators at TC uh, look to you to provide. Uh, in your athletics, uh, you play a lot of sports. How do you balance those sporting events and the extra time that you have to practice and go to games and keep your academic levels up too? Um, I just try to stay on top of stuff, do my class work at the I go home after practice, make sure I get on top of my homework and make sure I catch up with my stuff that I have to do for school, make sure nothing gets behind, and make sure I do what I have to do. Do you uh, have a, a a particular way of uh, or do you have a, a, a schedule of how 
you're going to do this and going to do that, uh, or does it kind of work as to what you've got scheduled for that day? It kind of works that I got scheduled for the day. Like I have to try to keep in mind what mm-hmm. I have to do that day to, so I won't forget about it so mm-hmm. I can remember what to do. Now, you're, you're involved in, in a lot of uh, activities uh, in your school. Uh, talk about some more of those today. Uh, baseball. I just tried out for baseball uh, last week. I made the team and played basketball. The season is over with. Then went played football at the beginning of the year, and we went undefeated and won the junior high championship. Way to go. Yeah. <laughs> and what position you play? Linebacker. Okay. And that's probably all the sports I play. Okay. Now, uh, we talked about your, your academics a little bit, but uh, you uh, uh, love uh, English, and uh, that's basically because of your connection with Ms. Pittman. Uh, you attend church, too. Uh, talk about that, too, this morning. Uh, my pastor's John L. Ragland, Jr. It's Morning Star Missionary Baptist Church um, over there close to Winterboro, um, I go there, I do ushering, and I love the church that I go to. It's a wonderful church, and I love to attend that church. You know, uh, Sharon, it's refreshing to sit and listen to a, a young man or a young lady, whatever the case may be, that seems to have their life going in the right direction. We we see so many stories of young kids that... that uh, kind of get derailed a little bit, and that's that's not the case every time. We got young people who are really oh, yeah. uh, making a difference in society already at even a young age. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, he didn't mention it, so I will. Go ahead. He gets so much support from mom and dad. I mean, you can call and and just tell them, well, we uh, need Devin to concentrate on this, and when you know anything, that is taken care of. I am a firm believer that our parents. Better students mm-hmm. equal better school. Uh, this right here, and the mom and dad, that's a prime example of that formula working. Fantastic. Uh, Devin Jacoby Calhoun, who's a 13-year-old uh, eighth grader at Talladega County Central School, and uh, he uh, is a junior usher at his church and uh, likes uh, outside of school and church, working uh, around the house, And let's talk about, uh, you're a member of the Black House student group at TC Central. Uh, What is that about as you're a leader among the eighth grade class? Uh, It's a house that we we just created probably like maybe two years ago. Last year, yes. Um, And we like get together, like you have to pick out a bucket and you draw the houses that you be in and I draw a black. So that's my principal's um, house and Miss Pittman's house, and we love that house. That's the best house, Black yes, House. Yes, and, yes, yes. And we do a lot of fun stuff in that house, and we stay together. Like we do, um, like supposed to be going on a field trip in that house, and we do a lot of stuff together. Kind of like bonding a little bit. Isn't yes, it? Yeah. sir. Yeah. Well, uh, I know that uh, being uh, a young guy uh, in eighth grade and 13 years old, you may not have thought about your future uh, very much in depth, but have you looked at it at all? Um, trying to I thought about it a little bit. I wanted to go to college. Mm-hmm. I'm leaning on J- JSU right now. I want to go engineering, do engineering. But I haven't really decided yet. Yeah. Well, you've got time to do that. But uh, as Ms. Pittman will attest to, there's no better time like than right yes. now, right? You yes. Know, we see so many uh, kids, Ms. Pittman, that, that uh, think that, and I did when I was growing up, that, you know, you can wait till the last minute. It's not a, it's not a last yeah. minute education nowadays. Yes, it is. And that's the thing. With our houses, we have four houses in the school, the black house, the gold house, the green house, the blue house. Mm-hmm. Every child must be a member of a house. And once they're in that house, they stay in that house until they graduate. We gather the students together periodically wow. under the leadership of Mr. Mm-hmm. Quentin Lee. And um, 
We teach them certain things, some cultural things. Uh, we have them do some social work things because our next project is going to be to raise some money for the American Cancer Society. The children are very excited about this and we do other things. And um, as they come together, you know, Mr. Lee and Dr. Gallagher are just so, so much a force behind the school. They push the students. They don't tolerate a lot of nonsense. They want these students to succeed. Mm -hmm. And they they instill that spirit <laughs> in their teachers. And it's so funny when the teachers come together for um, faculty meeting, they don't just say good morning or good afternoon. Most of us run in there, hey family, and because that's what we are. Yeah. And, and that love that we have for each other, that unity, it comes down to our students. And I mean, they they can come to any teacher for help, no one will turn them away. So they have they have so much support there. Mm -hmm. it's, it's difficult for a student to fail at Talladega County Central High School. Very right. And our superintendent, Dr. Suzanne Lacey, she's behind it all. Top notch, right? Yes, indeed. Yeah. Oh, yes. Devin Jacoby Calhoun, 13-year-old eighth grader at TC Central. Uh, Going into the freshman class next year. You yes. excited about that? Yes, sir. Yeah. And uh, uh, how would you like to be thought of as you leave the eighth grade going into high school next year? I'll be probably. Um, you consider yourself a leader? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah. And uh, probably uh, sometimes we don't like to pat ourselves on the back, but yeah. uh, uh, Miss Pittman seemed like a young man uh, like them, and uh, there's a lot of pats on the back for him uh, for a allow, job well done. Allow me. Yeah. There we yeah. go. Yeah. And uh, we appreciate y'all coming in this morning, and uh, uh, Devin is a 13-year-old eighth grader at uh, TC Central, and uh, Sharon Pittman is a teacher at TC Central, where she is uh, actually in her 16th year of education. She's been uh, at TC for several years now. And so we appreciate both of you coming in and congratulations on all the honors. Thank you. And keep up the good work. Okay. And uh, I'll see you somewhere along the line in football, baseball, or basketball. But more than anything else, see you in that classroom excelling as you're doing. Okay? Yes, sir. All if right. I might mention, um, I am a nominee for a national award right now, a life changer of the year. These students... Uh, their lives are changing right before our very eyes. They're coming in with the children mindset when they come there, mm -hmm. but they quickly uh, comprehend that this has to be a step up. So Mr. Lee and Dr. Gallagher encourage uh, changes in life as they come. And that's what we've seen in Devin. We've seen so much maturity since we've had him for these two years. And when he goes into ninth grade next year, I will still be his English teacher. And it's going to sadden me because it's like you get the baby birds and then all of a sudden you really do have to let go and they fly. But Devin has his wings and we're expecting great things from him. Fantastic. Devin, thanks for being here this morning. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, Devin Jacoby Calhoun, 13-year-old, 8th grader at TC Central. Sharon Pittman is a teacher at TC Central, and uh, she knows Devin very well. We hope you've learned a lot about Devin as well. He is our star student of the month. We've got more Daybreak just ahead. This Star Student of the Month was brought to you by TV47. Tune in to Daybreak Weekdays at 6.30 a.m. for your Star Student of the Month.